Ladies and gentlemen, this is about 11 on the Sydney's program and has been proudly sponsored by Grayers Graphics. Please welcome firstly into the red corner, representing the Fighter Promotions Gym, Sean Lacey. Ladies and gentlemen, opening round here. This is the one and only Mr. James Banks versus Sean Lacey in the red corner. Sean Lacey in the red, black and gold shorts versus James Banks in the blue corner with the blue, white and red shorts. And James Banks, ladies and gentlemen, he's an impressive fighter. Six wins undefeated with three knockouts in that record. So Sean Lacey's going to have his work cut out for him here. He's got a lot of support with him. He really moves nicely, does James Banks. Stepping forward, working his man down. Coming forward with a nice, strong left hook there. And again, stepping in, closing his man. Like keeping a nice pace is James Banks. Sean Lacey comes back with a few nice shots of his own. Over the top. But James Banks so far has his number. Bobbing and weaving nicely. The shorter man is Banks. We'll need to get in close to be able to uh, do any damage to Sean Lacey. Sean Lacey's smart, he'll keep, bank, he'll keep Banks at range. Not allowing him to get in close. 
Once again, Banks is receiving a lot of support here, fighting in memory of his father who died last year. Oh, and that body shot hit Sean Lacey. And he goes down. Well, that might be it. Sean Lacey looks hurt on that body shot, ladies and gentlemen. By his own admittance, James Banks likes to work the body, and that could be it. Sean Lacey doesn't look like he's able to continue in this one. Referee Clive Allison says, are you ready? Sean Lacey comes back. Maybe not by his own, not by his better judgment. James Banks will go straight back to that body and work him. And that's the end of round number one. Sean Lacey's on a save by the bell in that one. gentlemen James Banks versus Sean Lacey. Sean Lacey receiving a standing eight count in round number one. A hit to the body by James Banks and it looks like Banks will look to go right back to work on that same spot again. The right side of Sean Lacey although Lacey working a very different game plan here in round number two. Keeping on his toes moving away not looking to let James Banks in close and that's a good game plan for Sean Lacey. He needs to stay away from the sharp short body shots of James Banks. Bit of an expert knockout artist is Banks. Six fights, three knockouts. He's got a lot of power. Throws his shots with his whole body. Lacey needs to be careful. He's getting to a point where he might get pinned against the ropes here. And James Banks comes come forward and will look to pin Sean Lacey. The free Clive Allison just warning Lacey not to turn his back. And again, James Banks comes full forward, looks to pin his man in the corner and gets him exactly where he wants him, starts to work. Sean Lacey slips out, can't afford too much more of that though. Once James Banks pins him in the corner, it could be all she wrote. Again, James Banks coming forward, looking to pin his man, but Sean Lacey has his number there with a couple of nice stiff jabs. The question is, has Sean Lacey recovered from that big body shot in round number one? Can James Banks take advantage? So far in this round, is Sean Lacey getting the better of this fight? James Banks aggressive, looks to come forward again. Nice testing jabs there from Sean Lacey, but again, Banks is unperturbed. Just keeps coming, lands a big right hook, and Sean Lacey is down. Sean Lacey was basically out there, ladies and gentlemen, but comes back quickly to his feet, but that was a big, strong left hand over the top, straight through the guard of Sean Lacey. And that is the second standing eight count for Sean Lacey in this bout so far, ladies and gentlemen. And James Banks will look to come back strong, and once again, the bell saved Sean Lacey. Two good rounds so far from James Banks. gentlemen, James Banks, Sean Lacey. Sean Lacey's been to the ground twice already in this fight. In round one and again in round two. Once for a body shot, once for a head shot. And James Banks will want to finish his man here in round number three. He won't want this one to go to points. He'll want this to finish. Sean Lacey has other ideas, still got some power in him. And once again, James Banks puts him down. Sean Lacey will get his third standing eight count here in this one. Acknowledges the shot there by James Banks. He's ready to come out, comes out, fight him. Again, James Banks straight back in. Rabid terrier is James Banks. Looking to finish his man. Again, another big right shot over the top. But Sean Lacey, he's firing too. Open right up there, was lucky not to catch one, but did there. A nice straight right over the top, and James Banks will again look to press his man forward. Sean Lacey still firing though, needs to be careful not to get trapped in the corner, and does. James Banks may well look to work him here. 
Banks looking a little bit gassed in round number three, but nothing seems to be stopping him. He is pressing forward, keeping on the attack. And again, he knocks Sean Lacey back, and Sean Lacey to the ground, hits him when he's down, and that is it. James Banks finishes the fight in round number three. Sean Lacey, referee, says he's unable to continue. That's his fourth standing eight count in this one. And another win for James Banks. That's seven fights, four knockouts for the current English EBA champion. Continue. Your winner in the blue.